New details tonight about the two Ibarra brothers. We're learning one of them may be connected to a ruthless gang. Diego Ibarra was arrested on green card fraud charges last month while investigators were looking into the murder of nursing student Lakin Riley. Officials eventually announced his brother, Jose Ibarra, was the prime suspect in the murder, but now court documents show Diego could be just as dangerous as his brother. News Nation's Laura Ingle joins us now. Okay, Laura, we're, we're trying to keep this straight. So we have two brothers. Right. Where does this case stand? This is a lot. It is a lot. And in fact, Diego Ibarra was in court today. The U.S. Department of Justice released a statement following Diego Ibarra's detention hearing today that he will remain in federal custody pending trial based on evidence of Ibarra being a flight risk, which they certainly believe that he is. And this just into News Nation over the last few hours, brand new police body cam video of Ibarra's arrest from February 23rd showing Ibarra sitting down in a chair being questioned by police as they shine a light on him. This is Diego. When police first questioned him in connection to the investigation into Lake and Riley's murder. Remember, they didn't know who was who at this point. And he gave investigators a fake green card, which led to his arrest on immigration charges, which then led investigators to his brother, Jose Ibarra, who was taken into custody for Riley's murder. So there is a lot to uncover yeah, here. Right. And it, it was surprising when I read it. I'm, I'm sort of curious, is this going to in any way affect Jose's case? I mean, they're separate. They are separate. Not. That's so, right. Yeah. Well, so right now, Diego is charged. He hasn't been charged with anything connected to the murder, right. uh, nor helping his brother in any way. The charges, though, he does face are serious, carrying up to a 10 year prison sentence. And Diego Ibera's motion for detention goes into detail about the 28 year old's lengthy criminal history, which started with his illegal entry into the U.S. near Eagle Pass, Texas in April of 2023. Multiple photos within this court document of Ibera during one of his arrests show images of neck tattoos showing alleged affiliation with TDA. That's a violent gang from Venezuela. Others showing him throwing gang signs, holding guns. The TDA gang has been accused of being responsible for the violent beating of New York City police officers earlier this year. And investigators believe the TDA gang has ties to multiple states, including New York, Texas, Texas, Illinois, Florida, and Georgia. His brother, Jose Ibarra, is also undocumented immigrant into the U.S. That happened in 2022 before, of course, being charged with the deadly assault. It is not known if he uh, has any ties to this Venezuelan gang. Mm -hmm. That is something that they're still digging into. What a alarming, though, when you said it's, it's basically all over the country. That is. is that is scary. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.